Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video we'll be looking at tangents and normals. Okay, so before I begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so the question says determine the equation of the tangent and the normal to the curve of which we've been given the curve to be y being equal to x cubed over five at two particular points minus one comma one over five so minus one is the x coordinate and the one over five is the y coordinate so how do you go about finding the equation of the tangent the first thing you're supposed to do is to find the gradient of the tangent which is to miss the steps step one find m which is literally just y over dx or what tangent so you're trying to find the, the gradient of the tangent at x is equal to the x coordinate. Let me call this x1. X coordinate. Whatever x value they will give you in the equation. So you're going to differentiate what you have first. So I'm having my function y being equal to x cubed over 5, which is which can also be written as 1 over 5, x to the power 2, 3. Then if I differentiate this, I have dy over dx being equal to the 3 multiplies 1 over 5 and it's reduced by what? 1 and now I end up having 3 over 5 x squared. So that would be literally my uh, derivative. So now at x being equal to 1, so I say at x being equal to minus 1 dy over dx is equal to 3 over 5 the negative 1 squared which just give you 3 over 5 and basically this would be the gradient of the tangent so this can also be written as 0 0.6 others would prefer writing 0 0.6 others can just write it as uh, as it is 3 over 5 now once you do that you then find the equation of what the tangent so now step 2 find the equation of the tangent so now how do you go about finding the equation of the tangent you actually use an equation that says y minus y1 is equal to m which will be the gradient of the tangent in brackets x minus x1 so we know what the y1 and x1 is we have x1 y1 so we say y minus y1 which will be 1 over 5 is equal to m which is 3 over 5 then x minus x1, which is minus 1. So we say minus 1 in brackets like that. So we have y being equal to 1 over 5, being equal to 3 over 5, x plus 1. So at this point, all you have to do is to simplify this. So you have y minus, so minus, minus 1 over 5 is equal to, this multiplies everything inside. 3 over 5x plus 3 over 5 and you have y being equal to 3 over 5x plus 3 over 5 the 1 over 5 crosses the equal sign and you have plus 1 over 5 this can be solved separately you can just do a bit data 3 over 5 plus 1 over 5 this would be common denominator is 5 so 3 plus 1 and you have 4 over Five. Therefore, the equation of the tangent y is equal to 3 over 5 x plus 4 over 5. Just like that. And that will be your final answer. Alright, so now that's how you go about finding the equation of the tangent. For the normal, we do basically the same thing but a bit differently. So let me just erase this. Okay, so don't forget how to go about solving uh, the equation of the tangent. Alright, so I'll, I'll let the gradient exist. So now, for the equation, since we already have uh, the gradient of the tangent, step 3, find the gradient of the water, you know, by using the equation mt times mn is equal to minus 1. The gradient of the tangent times the gradient of the normal is equal to minus 1. So we're interested in the gradient of the what? No. So we divide by mt because we have the gradient of the tangent. 
So Mn is equal to minus 1 over Mt, which is the same as Mn being equal to minus 1 divided by Mt. And we know this will be minus 1 divided by the value of Mt is 3 over 5. So you can say over 1. So Mn is equal to negative 1 over 1. Division changes into multiplication times 5 over 3. And you end up having minus 5 over 3. With this gradient, you can now find the equation of the normal. By saying y minus y1 is equal to Mn from brackets x minus x1. So we know what our y1 is. Our y1 is simply 1 over 5 is equal to mn, which is minus 5 over 3, x minus x1, which is minus minus 1, like that. So have y minus 1 over 5 is equal to minus 5 over 3, x plus what? 1. This is also the same as y being equal to, sorry, y minus 1 over 1 over 5, okay, uh, is equal to, uh, this will multiply everything inside, and you have minus 5 over 3, x minus 5 over what? 3. So this guy can go the other side, and you have y being equal to minus 5 over 3, x minus 5 over 3, plus 1 over 5. This can be solved separately, so I'll just solve it somewhere there. So I'll just say 1 over 5 minus 5 over 3. Common denominator 15, 3 minus 25, which will basically give you 22, minus 22 over 15. So y is therefore equal to minus 5 over 3, x minus 22 over 15. And that's the equation of the word, the norm.